Um, my name is Mauro Wolf, I'm resident of Mountainside, New Jersey. And um, good evening, everyone. Good evening, Mr. Chairman. Uh, what is much as those? Um, I am rise uh, in support of Resolution 215-712, um, which relates to the improvement at the Walk Zone Stable Equestrian Center in Mountainside, New Jersey, which I think, um, you know, by profession, I'm an attorney, but I'm here before you today as a dad. Um, and there are a number of folks here who participate in the stables, and they're not prepared, but I'd like for all the young kids to stand up so that you can see them. These are the, the children who are going to benefit from the improvements at the stables. And I wanted you to see them because it's an important thing for me as a father. This is my daughter, Ella. Um, and I've seen all these, these kids ride. Um, and what's really great about riding, and I think this is really important to communicate to you, that your support is not limited to the four corners of a building or the bricks. You guys can sit. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what your support represents. What your support represents is the support for these characters that just stood before you and an institution that develops and hones character. I've taken up riding at the age of 46. Um, and one of the things that I find amazing um, and powerful about the experience is that for those of us who have been athletes at a much younger age, you're eight and a half, nine feet in the air with no seat belt riding a horse, and it's scary. And I've seen the transition in my daughter who started riding at age nine. And within six months, you could see the increase in confidence I told her jokingly one day that if she can handle a 2,000 pound animal, she can handle basically any boy. <laughs> <laughs> Their body is smart, at least I was. <laughs> <laughs> but having said that, I do want to say that it is important because while I have a daughter, I look out in the marketplace, I look in the community, and I say to myself, what's out there that provides this kind of um, institution, this ability to provide confidence? Um, especially for younger girls. When you're on a horse, you can't be on Instagram. You can't be on your phone, even though I watch some of them try. <laughs> uh, you can't do that. And it's also dangerous. There are many girls who, uh, and young men who have ridden, um, and even uh, grown-ups who have ridden, who have been injured on these horses. So it's a serious and real thing. And I think that combination as a whole is what makes riding such an important and, uh, aspect of our community. And as a resident of Mountainside, where the stables are located, I particularly find it to be a, a jewel of both Mountainside and a, and a jewel to Union County. And while I don't say this very often, uh, and I suppose you don't hear it very often, I rise and, and applaud for this board and for what you've done for Union County and what you've done for Mountainside. So thank you for your time. Anyone else you're gonna you're gonna add that your daughter's also? Yes, I, 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 I would be remiss if I didn't say. Anyone else wishing to be heard? We will do one at a time. One crack, guys. But I got you. Hi, my name is Diana Knight, and I'm a resident of um, Summit, and I'm not a public speaker, but um, I was motivated to come speak here today because. Both my experience and the experience I see for the kids at Watch Out Stable supporting Resolution 712. I bore a horse there. Um, I, since I was, for as long as I can remember, I've wanted to spend as much time as possible around horses and animals in general. I'm actually a veterinarian in the area, and um, I'm very passionate about the relationship that people can build with animals, and um, I've seen it in my job be both life-changing and life-saving for people. And I think that what it's meant to me is, you know, the opportunity to have a horse and board a horse in a place that's very safe, they're very well cared for. I have been incredibly impressed with how well the animals are treated, both in the program and also my boarded horse. I get a phone call at 10 o'clock at night the minute anything goes wrong from Rachel and runs the stables, and it's amazingly safe for the kids as well, given that we are talking about 1,200 pound animals and small children. I think it's an incredible program and 
for me, I think what's most important to relate to you guys is not the experience for an adult like me, but I see in those kids myself as a kid and how much it means to them is very important to me because they spend you know, so much time, probably most of them would not be able to ride. It's not very common in this area to have a facility like Wachong. It's the nicest facility I have toured in the area, including stables that are four times its cost. And it's also a program that really teaches them responsibility and communication. Many of them lease horses through the county and they are responsible for those animals. Um, I think it gives them the confidence to, to be um, better people and probably better communicators. And I think um, for that reason, I, I, I'm really happy that the, that the county is choosing to support this program. I can see in those kids you know, future veterinarians, future achievers, in a way that they might not be if they didn't have that relationship. So, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Someone else looking to speak on resolutions being offered for adoption? Hi, I'm Evan Nordstrom. I live in Mountainside. Um, I'm about resolution 712. Um, I'm the president of the Watch on Junior Hunt Club, which consists of more than 130 members. It ranges from kids ages 9 to 18. So we see all types of kids, all types of commitment, but I mean, they all love what they do. Um, all of us are extremely excited about the planned improvements for the facility. I mean, we wanna be able to ride there year round. A lot of us that are more committed, we go other, other places during the winter, um, but we'd rather stay there. I mean, we know these horses, we grew up there. This is kind of our second home. Um, I'm now a high school senior at Governor Livingston in Berkeley Heights, and I mean, I've been riding there since I was nine. But, um, so I'm coming up on my eighth year there, which is a long time. Um, as Diane mentioned, I'm part of the lease program as well, so I spend every day there. I lease a mare named Sky, and she's adorable. Um, for many of us, like I said, Watch on Stables is our second home, and riding is our sport. I mean, a lot of the kids here were there every day for countless hours, and I mean, we love doing it. So a lot of us are hoping to have careers in this field and have lives involving horses, and with the improvements, I feel like it would benefit us, benefit the horses, we'd spend even more time there, and I mean, this is what we love to do. So this is what we want to do with our lives. <laughs> so thanks for your support of Watch on Stables. It's truly a special place for all of us, and thank you again. Anyone else wishing to speak on resolutions being offered for adoption? Hello everyone, my name is Emmy Reddy and I live in Westfield. I am speaking on behalf of Resolution 712. I have been riding at Watch Dogs since I am 9 years old and I'm 14 now, so that's a pretty long time. I live some horse named Rookie. I ride in troop, drill, summer camp, I participate in anything else the barn has to offer. I'm there every day for a very long time. <laughs> it is my favorite place to be. I, uh, it is basically like my second home. I've made so many close friends there, and I couldn't imagine my life without those friends that I've made. Watch on Stables is such a good environment for everyone, and these improvements will only make it better. I always see visitors as well as riders walking around with big smiles on their faces. <coughs> These renovations would mean I could lose all year round, and nothing would make me happier. I know many of the other riders would agree. I couldn't imagine where I'd be today and what my life would be like without the staples, so thank you for all your support. Anyone else wishing to speak on resolution 712? My name is Tommy Mead. I live in Clark, New Jersey, and I'm speaking on behalf of resolution 712. Good evening, chosen Board of Freeholders, residents of Union County and surrounding counties, and fellow Watchung Stable members. I have been riding at Watchung Stables for over five years. I'm an active member of the Watchung Junior Hunt Club and ride at the barn as often as I can. Being a part of the Watchung community has truly helped to find the person that I am today. I have made valuable friendships and learned invaluable lessons. Riding is not only something I love to do, but enables me to build a strong sense of patience, trust, and strength. I have built a bond with many of the horses at the barn, and also learned that things that occur while riding can't be predicted. I began riding shortly after my twin sister did, 
and I immediately knew that it was something I would continue for a long time. At first, all I, thought, all I wanted to do was go faster. I soon learned that this didn't hold true. The, third, the things we work on at Watch Young not only ensure our safety, but a sense of enjoyment as well. I know that Watch Young is only growing as a barn. The sense of pure joy that all of its riders receive just by walking into the barn is something I haven't seen anywhere else. Rachel truly does an outstanding job in caring for the riders and the horses as well. It is without question that the stable is something she pours her entire heart into. The riders feed off of that positivity and often want to do anything they can to give back to their favorite barn. Between weekly lessons, summer camps, horse shows, ring rentals, horse leases, drill team, and lead line rides, there is truly something for everybody. Watch On works to offer a safe, affordable, and enjoyable program for anyone that is interested. I know that everyone at the stable would agree with me in saying that only positive things have come from their experience here. Watch On Stables has truly changed my life and given me the gift of riding that I will have for the rest of my life. I would like to thank you, the Board of, the board of Chosen Fee Holders, for always being so supportive and generous towards the stable. This program, program would not be as successful as it is today without the kindness you have shown us in the past and continue to show us now. Our entire community cannot begin to thank you enough for the generosity you have shown to watch on. We hope that you recognize the far-reaching effects that it has on the entire county as well as residents outside of Union County. As a community, we all cannot express how grateful we are for your support. Thank you for your time and support. Anyone else wishing to speak on a resolution? My name is Nicole Morris, and I live in Hillside, New Jersey. Um, I'm here to speak on Resolution 712. Um, I, since I go to Hillside, I am active in a lot of things at the school. I do athletic training, and I play soccer. But anybody that knows me knows that I'll always say that soccer is my first sport. It's horseback riding. And being one of the first people to ride horses at Hillside in my generation, it's always been a struggle to help people understand the beauty and the passion that I have for the sport. But now that I've started to embrace it and to gain friends and bring people up there, they've started to realize, wow, this is a great place to ride and perform beautiful bonds that you'll have for life. Like half these people I've known for in my entire life. I grew up with Emma riding, and Rachel has done a beautiful job running the place and the improvements that we have think, thankfully taken into account for have, are not only going to help us build our better riding skills, but also benefit the horses. Because not only is this health improvement going to help us, but it's going to ensure that the horses have a better place to really be taken care of for. Because nobody, wants to be on a horse that knows that he does not want to go outside. <laughs> and we all know that some of the horses there do not want to go outside. But now that we have an indoor that for even better footing, the horses will be more cooperative. And they know, they all have personalities just like us. And they all know that these improvements will help us when they wake up. And I'd like to thank you again for everything that you're doing with the barn. Top of page two, number 712, many of uh, the equestrians spoke about it. Uh, $2.2 million uh, for, I don't know exactly what is going on over there at the uh, riding stable, but I hope that $2.2 million is going to at least stop the horses from escaping and running around. Uh, first is 712. You know, after all this, I am kind of curious. What is being built there? It's two point two million dollars. I got the feeling it was some kind of dome or stadium, or something. I don't know. Uh, what what is that going to buy? And what what is that? Uh, I, I, it says at the end of it two ten zero twenty. What does that mean? Is that the project that started in twenty ten? Or and also there's a number thirty three two fifteen. What what does that mean in reference to this? Bill, can you explain the number? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Through you, um, the scope of the project includes a indoor riding rink, which is uh, approximately $900,000 of that $2.3 million. 
Um, the, there will be two miles of new vinyl fencing throughout the property installed. We are, we are constructing six new paddocks. We are refinishing rings, uh, redoing rings two and three. Uh, it'll have all weather um, dirt on it, so that be more. There'll be increased riding time outside during the winter. Also, we'll be um, redoing the beginner riding ring. We'll be putting new barn doors on the stable as well as fixing the ventilation system inside the stairs. And there was a question. I don't know if you, you can answer it. Yes. The project number. The project uh, originally was conceived in 2010. And that's an internal project number. 